The other day we did a tier list for all of the weapons and now it's time to do the same for the spirits. And to be frank, I don't think there is a bad spirit. Different to the weapons, right? So why don't we start with Kelumin? Um Kelumin, hmm, it's it's difficult. Is it S or is it A tier? I think Kalumin is going to be an S tier. Getting the crazy crits in or even just immediately killing the enemy. I mean, it, it is pretty freaking amazing. And it has style. So next one. Why don't we go with, uh, what is it called? Sharbora, the deer. So I usually don't take it, though I have to say it has pretty decent um, skills. And I think it's good if you would play the bow, but I do not play the bow. I hate the bow, so I think it's gonna be probably C tier. All the defense, abilities you're getting they're pretty decent but i mean just don't get hit right then let's see what else do we have here solash the firebird hmm that one is actually pretty good let me put it to eight here for now i mean the dash is insane um burning all the enemies with your dash then you're getting the cooldown reduction when you're in the air, though maybe not that important, except with the dual blades. Um, that that one is pretty cool as a com combo. Um, what else? Ah, the Phoenix jump. Yeah, that one is pretty pretty nice. Yeah, I, I guess it's eight here. Then we have Mishved, the ice ice bear. Let me think. It is pretty good when you freeze the enemies. Then having the ice splinters or icicles, especially the ones that are following the enemies, it is really good. But is it A tier? I guess it is. Let me know what you think down below. And by the way guys, um, if you want to support, please leave a comment or um, like the video that's gonna help me out all right the next one oh yeah the fish uh yamfas i know c tier it has some decent capabilities or some decent skills uh wall splash damage um or if you need dust right where you get i don't know 15 or 20 dust every room you're entering that is pretty nice but i don't know the ultimate though is good actually you know what maybe maybe it's b though i really don't pick it too often yeah well, let's put it b for now what else do we have um let's go with uh, salvoon okay so salvoon is an s tier for me i mean couple of reasons number one it's a trash panda that for itself is pretty cool number two i love the shadow clone i know it's called differently but i love the shadow clone because when you play it with equinox uh the scythe weapon that's just so ridiculous so s tier and then navalik oh boy i know navalik s or a where is it going it's pretty strong and i love the art style though i love the art style of all the spirits so i i mean we cannot put everything into s so let's put it to a and maybe i would have to reshuffle here so i would put Navalik first mm, actually fire second and we keep mishved third and if i have to choose i think here is it salvoon and kalumin 
probably Kalumin first, just because it's insane. And then we have Sylvuin as the second. And then the last one, Ashfarum. I mean, it, it's hard to rate it because you cannot really pick the spirit. If you can pick the spirit except in the tribute room, let me know. Because I haven't figured that out. I just know you can go and you can give your souls um, to get a boon. So, yeah, I'm gonna put it into D, though it really meant as a D tier. Uh, it has pretty good skills um, that you can pick. But again, it's only in those rooms, so you cannot pick it from the beginning and getting it on the map. Yeah, I think that's my list. Right, so we have two S tiers. We have Kelumin, Salvoon, then we have three A tiers, Nawalik being number one, then Solash number two, and Mishved number three. B tier, we have Yamfas, C tier, we have Sharbora and then again not meant as a D tier but just because I don't want to rate it with the others we have Ashfarum. Alright yep that's about it let me know down below in the comments what is your spirit tier list and see you next time